I'm Ashlyn. Have you ever seen a strange bathroom and you just had to snap a pic? No, me either. But still, let's check out these nine bizarre bathrooms together. Number nine, safe house. If you're ever in Milwaukee, do not leave without going to this spy-themed restaurant and entertainment center known as the Safe House. It's located in an alleyway near the river, <laughs> spooky, and the top secret safe house has been a safe place for spies and special agents since 1966. A password is required to enter, and they also require that you pass a visiting operatives test if you aren't a member of the club already. So basically, good luck getting in. You have to prove you're both a spy as well as not a double agent. I'd hate to see what happened to anyone who gave away any info about it. Whoops. If this is my last video, then uh, you'll know why. Safe House is full of all sorts of fun inside. They have escape rooms, missions, and a bunch of confidential entertainment, questionable. <laughs> but what really makes them stand out is their bathroom. I know, that's what I said. Here, the spy theme is kept as you make your way through the super secret laboratory full of things only secret agents would understand, like peeing. The bathroom includes a one-way mirror so you can watch your boyfriend hit on other girls or your sister steal your appetizer while you're in the restroom. They'll never suspect the cause of your anger when you return. There are different doors to enter the bathrooms and they all have different secrets and sometimes missions inside. Just be careful and don't set off the alarms, Jesus. Number eight, Soji Tabuchi Theater. So there is this Japanese American country music fiddler and singer who currently performs at his theater the Soji Tabuchi Theater in Branson, Missouri. His name, of course, is, can you guess? Soji Tabuchi. You are so smart. So as good as Tabuchi is, he doesn't realize that all of his fans are only there for the bathroom at the theater. Weird. I mean, restrooms are for customers only, geez. When Tabuchi was a young boy living in Japan, he had two dreams. One was to move to America and become a country music artist, and two, was to own one of the most spectacular bathrooms in the world. Talk about aspiring to be a glorified janitor. No offense to any janitors out there. Mad props. Okay, so that second part isn't true. Well, probably isn't true, but whatever. The restrooms at the Soji Tabuchi Theater are amazingly exquisite. In college, Tabuchi formed a band called the Bluegrass Ramblers that won a national contest in Japan. After that, he traveled to the States with just $500. And then when he got here, he met up with Roy Akov of the Grand Ole Opry, who hooked up Tabuchi with, you know, the same old use. From there, Tabuchi went from $500 barely able to afford a porta potty <laughs> I know, ew, disgusting, to making millions. He started from the bottom, and now he's here. Mm -hmm. He owns this beauty of a bathroom, pristine mirrors, crisp greenery, leather chairs. Seriously, no doubt, the Soji Tabuchi Theater bathroom is one for the books. Number seven, Corner Street. There's no way that the largest bathroom in the world couldn't make the list. Of course, Foreigner Street is an amusement park and entertainment area in Chongqing, China. Chongguangguangqing? Yes, okay. It displays various styles of architecture, food, and attractions from around the world. Established in 2006, it includes landmarks such as the 10-meter Christ the Redeemer statue from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil and a 150-meter section of the Great Wall of China. The best part is the site is open 24 hours a day with free entry and has been described as overly kitschy. It may be overly dramatic in appearance and theme, but wait, yes, the bathroom is just as crazy. At one point, it was known as the world's largest bathroom. How many stalls does it have exactly? Just about 1,000. It appears to be a porcelain palace with an Egyptian theme complete with hundreds of thrones. Well. I guess that's exactly what it is. When you enter the palace, soothing music can be heard overhead and a thousand toilets can be found in this 32,290 square foot public restroom. 
Lu Xiaoging, an official with the Yanga Riji, once said we are spreading toilet culture. People can listen to gentle music and watch television. Foreigner Street, after they use the bathroom, they will be very, very happy. If you prefer a more outdoorsy break, feel free to use one of the stalls with an open roof and wash your hands in a thing for horses. Some of the urinals are shaped like crocodile mouths, while others a woman who resembles Mary, the mother of Jesus. Number six, vertebrae vertical. The vertebrae vertical is a bathroom you may want for your own home. Well, you're in luck because you can buy one right now. The best part about the vertebrae vertical bathroom is the amount of room it takes up. Let me just say, if you own this bathroom, be prepared to feel the heated, envious eyes of tiny house hunters everywhere. The vertebrae stacks a toilet, sink, water cistern, two showers, and three storage units into one eight foot tall steel column. Imagine that. It's not that much. It costs just over 11 grand and was designed by Paul Hernan, who wanted a better option for those living in tiny apartments. He realized that the space for bathrooms had been failing in tiny apartments for those living in the UK. He noted that vertical space is underused while horizontal space is overused. He believes that we are wasting all of our overhead room but placing everything low to the ground. Hmm. In his creation, the shower heads rotate 180 degrees and the remaining units 360 degrees. The steel tower contains all of the necessary piping for the lavatory. The entire unit weighs about 330 pounds, and with such a concentrated area, the floor may need to be reinforced before installation. Other than that, all you need is 11 grand, and you are on your way to a tiny vertical bathroom. Welcome to the future, people! Number five, PP. Pronounced PP is a set of islands in Krabi, Thailand. It's no surprise that with a name like Pee Pee that the place would have its fair share of amazing bathrooms. Located on the Pee Pee Islands is a national park called Hot Nafrarat. Thara. Hop. Yes. Uh, here you will find some very interesting urinals. The most interesting part about them is that they are found outdoors. The island is made famous by the movie The Beach. Mm -hmm. The location was chosen by producers due to the cliffs surrounding the beach. <laughs> it made the beach appear to be a private location, a location that fit the character's goals. At least that is what he says. Chances are the real reason lies in what the beach contains. These urinals, so connected to nature and out in the open, how could one not feel peaceful when using them? The park is a popular getaway and tourist attraction, but this hidden gem is for those familiar with the island and comfortable with themselves. Number four, Mumin Papa Cafe. There's nothing much cooler than an underwater cafe, but if you visit the destination, don't forget to check out the mesmerizing bathroom. I mean, while you're there. Truth be told, there is somewhere else that you can find this experience. There, I said it. Just traveling on to Dubai and book a stay in an overnight hotel. One of its greatest rooms is called the Atlantis Dubai's Neptune Suite. How much is it? Well, nothing, just like $6,300 a night. But, but wouldn't trying out this toilet in an aquarium be worth your six grand? So the room is surrounded by bay windows with a nice view of the underwater creatures. If you can't afford to stay here, then all you have to do is head over to Mumin Papa Cafe where the lavatory can give you the same feeling as the $6,300 a night mansion of a hotel. Woo! Here you can take care of business without breaking your wallet. <laughs> the best part is the aquarium is unique to the women's restroom. The men have your average bathroom with nothing special. Mm. But don't worry, if you're feeling self-conscious about your visit surrounded by living creatures, don't worry, the fish will not judge you. Well, maybe except for that turtle that keeps staring at you while you're... What can you do? Number three, Yuri Lift. As if to combat the competition that Vertebrae Vertical has started, Yuri Lift has decided to take up even less room than its opponent. 
The original Uri lift was built in Amsterdam and the first North American one in Victoria, British Columbia. They can retract into the underground world or pop up for sanitary porta potties. <laughs> Why did this idea spawn? Like, where did this come from? Well, from what I understand, the government got tired of drunk men wandering out and about on the streets looking for somewhere to relieve themselves before giving up and urinating on the side of a building or a plant. Like, poor little aloe, I was going to use you. So the plans are to install URI lifts that were remotely triggered at night where they will rise from their underground dwellings below. Kind of like a weird pea vampire. Each URI lift costs $75,000 and many cities are considering using them for different reasons. On a side note, URI lift is so revolutionary that they have even created the world's first urinal for women in 2016. So just what will URI lift do next? Number two, jungle gyms. Who knew that one of the best bathrooms in the world, deemed so by Destination America, was located in a supermarket? Jungle Gyms International Market is about 300,000 square feet full of ingenious shopping. The location in Ohio has Amish food, a cheese shop, a garden center, international cuisine, cooking classes, and eight aisles of pet supplies. But with all of these options and amenities, surely the greatest thing that Jungle Gyms has to offer is their now famous restrooms. Imagine when you are shopping and all of a sudden that familiar urge hits you and you really need to find the restroom. So you search around or ask someone until you run upon a sign that insists the restrooms are just porta potties. In reality, the doors to the restrooms did come from those undesirable excuses for a bathroom. Ew. But the truth is, that's where the undesirable bathroom choices end. When you open the door, you will find that a gigantic modern restroom greets you. The jungle theme is present, clean, and very attractive. The sinks and toilets are well kept, presentable, and inviting. It doesn't take long to realize that the doors were simply a practical joke gone way too right. Too bad you had to wait for five people to exit the same porta potty before you realized it. Number one, don't miss a sec. As far as jokes go, while Jungle Gyms is all in good humor, this next public restroom is bad enough to make an insecure introvert cry, like tears. Artist Monica Bonvicini created this toilet made of a one-way mirror. From the outside, it appears to be made of mirrors, but from the inside, you can see the world around you. This will make those using the toilet feel as if they are being watched. It is called Don't Miss a Sec and is meant to be a piece of art. Some call it funny. It's kind of hilarious, but some call it just wrong. Some call it an adventure, and some call it a beautiful work of high-end art. But to each their own. Perhaps others just like to use it as a way to boost their own confidence, making it easy to perform in front of crowds. <laughs> what do you think of this one-way mirror stall built in the middle of a public street? Captivated by these toilets? Click here for more videos and be sure to subscribe, and I will see you next time on Peachy Planet.